In today's video, I'm going to be discussing 2 a.m. on Sunday, March 10th, as it is coming, Daylight Saving Time. That's the focus of this video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. All right, good old Daylight Saving Time, or Daylight Savings Time, as it is often referred to, is coming in just a matter of days, and I'm not sure about you, but that makes me very happy because that also means that spring and summer are almost here, and again, I'm super excited because... I don't like the cold. I'm not sure about you, but that's just how I always feel. I feel like if we can get to early March, if we can get to daylight saving time, we're basically in the clear there and summer and spring are basically right upon us and I'm super excited about it. But in just a matter of days here, it is coming and I wanna bring this to your attention because this is usually a big, big deal and believe it or not, there are lawmakers out there right now that are making a big, big fuss about this, but they wanna turn this into standard time across the entire country. They They've introduced this time and time again with peace legislation. It has not passed yet, but the speculation is it may actually be passing sooner than later, and we may be experiencing daylight saving time all year round. I don't know. Let me know down below in the comment section. Would you enjoy that or would you not? I'm going to be honest with you. I would love that. To me, that's great. I love when it stays light out late into the evening in the summer. I don't know. Something about that seems really, really cool to me, but that's just my opinion. Either way, let's talk through the details really quickly. So it's coming again, 2 a.m. on Sunday. Now, how many of us are going to be awake uh, at 2 a.m. on Sunday. I'm gonna tell you this much. I am not going to be, at least I hope I'm not awake at that time, okay? Now, here's the thing. It happens at that time, uh, again, March 10th. So again, if you are sleeping at that time or whatever, in most cases, depending on the devices that you have, like a phone or things like that, generally the time will automatically change. But when it comes down to your alarm clock or maybe your oven or maybe your microwave, <laughs> your your coffee pot, <laughs> generally these, these, uh, these times do not typically change. You have to do it manually. Now, obviously you already know that, but uh, this is what's gonna happen. Now, does this encompass everybody across the entire country? No, in fact, it actually doesn't. It encompasses most people across the country, but there are actually two states out there that do not participate in daylight savings time. Who, who wouldn't participate in this? Well, it's Arizona and Hawaii, okay? <laughs> These two states do not participate in daylight saving time, and that's totally fine. But again, everybody else out there, the other 48 states will be, in, uh, will be involved in daylight saving time. Now, at the same time, you might be wondering, what is the purpose of this? Why has this been implemented? Here's the silly thing about this, and again, Tell me if this makes logical sense to you or not. I don't know. Again, <laughs> when I read the details about this and I dug into it further, this doesn't make any logical sense to me, but um, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this uh, as I talk to you the details. So way back in the day, daylight savings time was actually implemented because they wanted to conserve energy in the evening so that we would actually utilize daylight, sa you know, daylight to utilize and um, not use as much energy and then basically convert basically one hour of darkness in the morning to one hour of light in the evening. I don't know. I mean, logically that makes sense, right? Let's, you know, let's shift the clock so that we're utilizing more daylight in the evening. But guess what happened? As a result of that, what did they do? They found that we're using more electricity in the morning because it's still dark. Wow, <laughs> that's a brainiac discovery right there. I don't know about you, but that makes a lot of logic sense to me, right? Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts about that down below as well. Do you think that makes any logical sense whatsoever? I mean, if it's dark in the morning, are we just going to walk around our houses in the dark? Uh, I don't think that's going to be really the case for most people, unless we're sleeping until it's, you know, getting a little bit light out. Then that's the case, right? So anyway, interesting discoveries, but <laughs> this is coming on Sunday. So um, if you're in any of the states out there, not including Arizona or Hawaii, again, not discriminating against all of you. Uh, if you're located in Arizona, or Hawaii, sorry, or Hawaii, first off, I'm jealous of you. I am not located in either of those states. I would enjoy it. It'd probably be a pretty fun time. Uh, it'd be really awesome to do that, but um, I'm not located in those locations. But if you're not in Arizona or Hawaii, then this is coming for you, 2 a.m. again, Sunday, March 10th. So as I record this video right now, it's only a couple days away. Maybe you're watching this video on Saturday the 9th or maybe Friday the 8th. Well, then obviously it's a lot closer for that. I'm actually recording this video a couple days out from that, but um, yeah, matter of days here. And then um, we'll all 
push our, our clocks forward an hour so we get one more hour of daylight in the evening. And again, I love that. Now, how long does this extend for? The entire year? Nope. It actually goes toward generally the first or second weekend of November, depending on when the weekend, the first weekend of November lands. Usually if the first weekend of November is like the first, usually it's the second weekend, but usually it's right around that first weekend of November. So we'll see here, but... Um, that's what's happening with daylight saving time. And then we go back to standard time, obviously, in November. And that's also kind of a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of an alert like as well. Like, hey, holidays are upon us. Get Check that out. It's getting dark out at like 5 p.m. Awesome. Who loves that, right? Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> it's kind of funny because in the spring, it's always like, ah, oh, hooray. Spring is here. Summer's here. The birds are chirping. There's life outside rather than just like cold and like 16 feet of snow. Right. Uh, but anyway, and then the, in the in the fall, or, you know, in November, when that rolls around, it's like, oh, OK, whip out the holiday decorations here. You know, uh, uh, Halloween is wrapping up. Things like that are over. So. I don't know, just talking through the calendar. So anyway, it's always a super exciting time of year for me. I love this time of year um, when things are changing like this. So anyway, I want to bring this to your attention really quickly. I know a lot of times I always get the text from my mom, right? Every single year. I know my mom's probably watching this video <laughs> literally every year. My mom texts me the night before. And she's like, make sure to turn your clock back. I'm like, mom, my phone does it automatically. I, I haven't turned the clock back in like, I don't know, 20 years probably. I'm just being real with you, okay? I don't think I've changed a clock since I probably lived with my mom uh, a long time ago, <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's been a long time. Well, to be real, it actually hasn't been that many years since I lived with my parents, but... My point is, the last time I turned the clock back was like a long, long time ago. So, mom, thanks for the reminder. I appreciate it, but um, I don't have a coffee pot that has a clock on it. And uh, when it comes down to the the range and the the microwave, um, my wife will handle that one. So, anyway, want to point out really quickly. Enjoy your day. Thanks for joining me. Really appreciate it. Go back and check out some of the other videos here on the channel. Otherwise, subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. And uh, check out some of the videos down below in the description or at the top of the comment section. Otherwise, have a nice day and enjoy the spring and summer. I'll be here for you every single day for you right by your side. No matter what, that's my promise and commitment. And uh, I'll catch you again later in the next video.